Number 40, predict which acid in each of the following pairs is the stronger and explain your reasoning for each. And then we have letter E. So we have to figure out which one is the stronger acid, H2O or H2TE. Good question. Now, generally speaking, water, right, H2O, is roughly neutral on the pH scale, right? It's neither acidic nor basic. So we basically just have to figure out, you know, what is generally H2TE? Would that be classified as a base or would that be classified as an acid? Let's figure it out. Well, what type of acids are these? I see for each one of them, I only have a hydrogen and then one other element. The other element here is the oxygen in H2O and the other element here is the tellurium, TE, right, for H-E-T-E. So whenever you see that you just have a hydrogen with just one other element, I don't care what that element is, uh, this would be classified as a binary acid. Binary means two, so you have just two elements in your uh, compound. Okay, so since both of them are binary acids, I could use my binary acid trend. As you go down a group, your acidity will increase. So if I just pinpoint where these two elements are on the periodic table, and keep in mind, when you're doing your binary acid acidity trend, you don't look at the hydrogens because that's the same thing for both of them. So you look at the other element. So you'll look at the oxygen and the tellurium. So oxygen is up top here. And as you go down, TE is in the same uh, group, but downward. So as you go down, you get more acidic. Tellurium would be more acidic than oxygen if it's in a binary acid. So the answer here is H2TE would be the more acidic uh, one out of the pair. But now we just have to explain the reasoning. And the reasoning behind this is it's linked with atomic radius. As you go down a group as well, you become bigger and bigger. Your atomic radius increases. So if we do this in terms of dots, oxygen, would be like a little dot. And then as you go down, you get bigger. And if I really draw this to scale, there should be four apart, but I'll try to make it, you know, wee, there we go, that looks, that's a good scale. So if you notice, oxygen is really small, tellurium is a really big atom, or the radius is large. So if I just draw this, tellurium would be really, really big. So here's like, H2TE, and oxygen, on the other hand, would be really, really small. So we'll, I'll just do it a different color. Now, they're both bound to hydrogens. I'm only going to draw one of them because that kind of gets the point across. But a hydrogen is a hydrogen, and hydrogens are very small. So I'm going to just draw this hydrogen over here, and then the same color over there, right? Now, look at the bonds between the oxygen and the hydrogen. Very, very close together because the atoms are small. But if we look at the bonds in H and tellurium, it's a much longer bond. Now you could think about this as like friendships, right? If you have a close bond, just like H2O does, right? If you have close bonds between those hydrogens and oxygens, you're going to be tight, right? you're not gonna want to come apart, right? Close bonds, best friends, they travel together, right? They do a lot of things together. They don't want to separate, and that's what acids do. Great acids are able for that hydrogen to just, boop, leave. But the closer bond you have, the harder it is. So since this bond is longer, the hydrogen's like, eh, I can leave. We're not really close. That's the idea. So you have longer bonds here, and also because tellurium is, or we'll say tellurium has the larger radius. And that is basically the explanation. So smaller the radius, closer the bonds, the harder it is for the hydrogen to be donated. But the, the bigger you are, the more further out those hydrogens are, the hydrogen's like, yeah, I can leave. And that's exactly what acids do. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel.
and I hope you guys are having a great day. All right. Let, um, yeah. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes and I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.